Chief, it's Misha Mary Louise Wallace. I'm the author of Custom Nigali for third class and I'm also a practicing teacher. Today I'm going to talk you through a suggestion of how to plan two units or one month of work for the Custom Nigali program. This example is based on third class units 9 and 10 for the month of January. Firstly, display the readers and picture books in a prominent area of the classroom for the whole month for the children to engage with each day. Also ensure the Gwaelke View phrases and keywords from the readers are prominently displayed in the room for the whole unit. From day one, play the song or poem of the month throughout the day, every day, as part of your daily routine. This could be done as part of transitions or at break time. In this way, the children will become naturally familiar with the song or poem. You could even invite the children to respond to the poem or song with actions or dance. On the first day of week one, write four to five of the Gwaelge Vio phrases on your flip chart or IWB. Model the phrases for the children. Encourage the children to use the phrases in a conversation every day. The children should use the Gwaelge Vio checklists in the skills book to self-assess their use each day. Encourage Think Pair Share using these checklists. Find out the culture topic for the month. Tease it out with questions like Care They Show, Call Will or Not Show, and walk in a show reef, care they. Then complete the skills book activity on the culture page with the children. For example, let's look at skills book page 37. The culture topic is Clochon on Afri, the Giant's Causeway. You can read the information about the Giant's Causeway with the children. They can then work with their partner to partake in a drama activity. Finally, the children complete a fill in the blanks activity. Support the work as you circulate around the room. Read and explore the fiction reader with the children for pleasure. For example, the fiction reader for Unit 9 is Thirst Chimple and Them. Elicit the children's ideas and observations as you read. There are sample questions in the TURB to help you with this. You could also use the gillexplore.ie digital resources to listen to the reader being read aloud. Read through the keywords and phrases at the beginning of the reader with the children. Do they know any? Pre-teach any keywords and phrases by first reading through the list with the children, then asking them to show you the word. Listen again to the reader using the gillexplore.ie digital resources. This time, you can ask the children to spot the keywords or phrases throughout the book. Call will on fuckle show. Call will on fraza show. Complete the skills book activity based on the reader to consolidate learning. For example, on page 38, the children are asked to name two countries mentioned in the reader and write two facts they have learned about these countries. They can then draw a picture to represent what they have learned. Don't forget to give the children time for free exploration of the reader. For example, to make connections with the grammar topic. This month's grammar topic is on Mo or the Hook. The children will see examples of this in the reader. Print Giel in the Galley from the printable section on gillexplorer.ie. In pairs, children are invited to write the new keywords and Gwaelge Vio phrases that they have learned during the week. Children may also document their learning using words, pictures, sentences, phrases or even doodles. The children could think pair share when they are finished as a means of peer assessment. The children should also take the Gwaelge Vio phrases they have been using on the self-assessment checklist on the Gwaelge Vio pages at the back of their skills book, pages 83 to 88. These assessment activities should be repeated at the end of each week. Introduce the children to the grammar topic using the activity in the skills book. For example, the grammar topic for Unit 9 is on Mo or the Hook. Go through the examples of verbs in the Mo or the Hook listed. You may display the skills book page on the interactive whiteboard and ask the children to identify the verbs in the mo, in the mo or the hook. The children then complete the matching activity in the skills book. Recap on meaning and examples of the mo or the hook. The children then act as block the grammathy or grammar detectives and look for examples of the mo or the hook in all of the fiction readers, non-fiction genre readers and picture books.